Hi, so it's been a week-ish, um, and High School Musical Series Season 4 comes out all at once next month. I was gonna animate this, but I'm gonna play Sims because I'm obsessed. So, here they are. Also, this is a legacy family I'm working on. So if you guys want like more Sims content, let me know because I love The Sims. Um, that's why I haven't been posting for a week. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Here's the first one. I think they will be doing High School Musical 3. I don't know who will play who. I don't think Nini will be in the season at all. Of course, there will be Rena. I don't think Val will be back. I don't think Val will be back either. But I don't know. Definitely Big Bird returns because he said he's bi. So Ashlyn will come out to Ashlyn and Big Red goes to find a boyfriend. I think we will get Courtney Jet because in episode five, I see the way he looks at her. And he said in the trailer at the end of season three, I'm crushing my Elsa. I know everything was fake stuff, but I think some of it will be real. Mashlyn is a thing. I know it just know it okay they have to do this at the end they have to show them in college older about to graduate and then have all of the memories of seasons one through four and i think ej will be miss jen's assistant so carlos can play a role or ej has his own storyline or he's not in the season at all number two <clears throat> set number three not a theory but it'd be nice if EJ found himself a girl who truly loves him. I feel like Val could be that for him. For me, I imagine them as childhood best friends who has always been there for each other. Kind of like Rini, for them it would work. Number four, I think they will be doing High School Musical 3. This is how I would think they would cast it. Gabriella, Gina, Troy, Ricky, Chad, new character. Taylor, Court, Sharpay, Seb, Ryan, Carlos, Kelsey, Nini. Oh, he won't be Chad because of the new character. I think it'll be a knockoff jet, so he will break his bones or forget a line and run off and give the role to EJ. Gina and Ricky will break up during a costume change. Gina doesn't want to do this show, so she gives the role to Nini, and that's how Nini and Ricky go back on at the end. And Ashlyn and Big Red both are by, so they break up and go find a woman and a man. Ricky's dad and Miss Jen break up. Ben knocks on the door, and they kiss. Seb and Carlos will break up. Number five. Ricky and Gina will be a thing, even though I'm not a huge fan of it. Ashlyn and Biggie will break up, Ashlyn, Maddox, Val, and Madison love square or something. Maddox and Jet will transfer to East High. EJ and Val will make some appearances here and there. Jet will try to get Courtney, but realize that she has Howie who's way better for her. These are all in caps. EJ will find someone better than Gina and move on like he deserves. And this next season will be a season of drama. Also, G e fuck. <laughs> Also, EJ needs his own song that isn't a billion stars. How is he like one of the main characters this season and doesn't have his own song? Everyone else did. Gina, Ricky, Court, Ashlyn, and even Jet had his own song. Number six. They might throw Nini in the last episode just to make us happy and shock us, but it'll probably be like a video recording and she won't be there in person, sadly. EJ and Gina probably won't end up being a couple the whole season. Maddox will transfer to East and I hope they explore her relationship with Ashlyn, same with Val, even though she's graduated. Maddox will try out for the show and we'll get Gabriella. Jet and Courtney need to have their own conversations about that interview. EJ will have some really sad moments again, revolving around his dad and Gina. Number eight, Ricky and Gina secretly dating trope. Conflict will arise because of that. EJ will feel betrayed once he finds out. Gina will freak out. Ricky sings Troy Bolton scream in what will most likely be the most epic number the show has ever produced, which I agree because I love Scream so much. We get a Carlos and Seb rendition of I Want It All somewhere along the line. Jet and Court will be endgame after she breaks up with Howie due to distance. Ashlyn and Big Red break up and she goes on to date Maddox. Big Red gets a boyfriend, EJ goes to Val's college to study directing and endgame with her. 
Ricky's father proposes to Miss Jem. That would be so cute. But that would be like really, really fast. Oh, there's a part two. It depends on how many of the original actors they can get back onto the project, but I guess that if they're really gonna go for this kind of concept, it is likely they're gonna have at least the six core on board. Assuming that, and that the actors are okay with it, they can make Vanessa and Zach and game story arc remember like they dated in real life. Remember when Corman exclaimed that felt right after singing every day with the East High kids. I'm guessing he is the one who goes on and kickstarts the HSM4 reunion project. Would be poetic justice for him to have a storyline with Lucas, either in real life or the H HSM4 canon. Also, the people want Sharpay and Zeke endgame, and Ashley seems to be back on the project, so I'm predicting that as well. Pretty sure that we'll get at least one number with the OG cast reprising their parts. Probably a night to remember since it's one that showcases them all. Number nine. I think after the show, Gadget, Maddox, Val, and Jeb become part of the crew and attend East High. And like for the past two seasons, Miss Jen makes a new musical and it's HSM2. But however, it's competition. No, not with North High but with West High. The auditions went great, and the cast was set. Seb got Sharpay, and Carlos was Ryan, Gabriella was Gina, and Troy was EJ. Gadget, Jet, and Val were also there. But the thing is, West High got a new assistant, Mr. Channing. They didn't know, until they got caught by Carlos. He didn't interrupt Mr. Channing, or exposed him to himself. Instead, he told the team of the theater kids. And they had a plan. The plan was they were going to keep practicing until the show where they walked towards Channing as he was about to sabotage the show. And they added a song about him as they dragged him onto the stage. It was legal. The rules changed. The crowd said boo to him. He got humiliated. Luckily, East High won the competition as Jet and Gadget's friendship started to heal. They went from kind of M and E's. I can't say that word. Friend means and friends. A relationship started to grow between Val and a new guy, Jason. But little did she know, like Courtney, he was part of West High. New enemies came in such as friends of Lily, Samantha, Ava, Amanda. But Val met a new, not guy, but a girl, to add some LGBTQ. They were official and West High got eliminated for cheating. They made a blackout and made technical stuff fall. But luckily, East High made it work. Number 10. <clears throat> Someone's gonna end up in the hospital and die. A fun. Or are there? Number 11. Rena, endgame. I don't care what anyone else says. Also, Jet got expelled from school, so he'll shift East High. EJ will come back as an extra for the HSM reunion movie and prove his dad wrong and be happy this season, hopefully. I feel like Gina will have anxiety this season because of the docuseries and everyone on the net saying she cheated and Ricky will probably help her through it. I think this is number 12. They all get killed by Gina because Ricky still likes Nini and Ashlyn is mad at her because she moved away and she, she is still mad at AJ and Gina just goes wild number 13 they will all die and grad you eight number 14 I think Seb and Carlos will fight and Seb will finally tell everyone to stop turning down his ideas Seb will be tired of everyone shutting him down so he will lash out at Carlos at the premiere of HSM4 Seb will apologize to Carlos in front of a huge crowd this is when their duet over again will take place okay that's all I got let me know if you want more because I have so many more and I can probably animate them when I come back from my trip. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and listening to my disgusting voice. <laughs> Bye.